verbs present perfect tense At the end of this lesson you will be able to define and identify the present perfect tense of a verb understand the use of the present perfect tense change the tense of the verb to present perfect tense in the given sentence Mummy can I go to the park now Have you cleared your room and finished writing your essay? Yes, mummy. Mm, have you completed your class assignment on the use of present perfect tense? No, mummy. I'm having trouble understanding it. Let me help you with it. Once you finish, you can then go play. Let us join Fleck in completing his assignment. on the present perfect tense first let us quickly revise the tense of a verb the tense of a verb tells us the time of an action or when an action has taken place there are three main tenses the present tense the past tense and the future tense the present tense indicates an action which takes place now or in the present the past tense indicates an action which took place in the past and the future tense indicates an action which will take place in the future the tense of a verb not only shows the time of an action but also expresses the state of the action that is it indicates whether the action is complete or incomplete let us look at the following examples fleck goes to the park every day in this sentence the verb goes indicates an action that takes place in the present on a regular basis it refers to the simple present tense fleck is going to the park in this sentence the verb is going indicates an action that is taking place and continuing in the present moment it refers to the present continuous tense Fleck has gone to the park. In this sentence, the verb has gone indicates a completed action in the present moment. It refers to the present perfect tense. In this lesson, we shall learn about present perfect tense and its uses. Look at the following examples. using the present perfect tense i have had my dinner you have not returned my book sana has joined drawing classes have the children returned from school in the above examples the verbs in the present perfect tense have been highlighted From the above examples we can observe that the present perfect tense of a verb is formed with the help of has or have and the past participle form of the verb Let us understand the forming of the present perfect tense with the help of an example Look at the following table having the present perfect tense of the verb eat for the subject pronouns in singular and plural. For the first and second person singular that is I and you the helping verb have is used 
with the past participle form of the verb eat that is eaten. For the third person singular he, she or it the helping verb has is used with the past participle form eaten. Similarly for the first, second and third person plural we, you and they the helping verb have is used with the past participle form eaten. Let us now learn the usage of the present perfect tense. The present perfect tense is used to show an action that has just been completed a short while ago. For example, he has just completed his homework. We have already cleaned the room. The verbs has completed and have cleaned are in the present perfect tense since they refer to actions that have just been completed. The present perfect tense is also used to show an action which began at some point in the past but its effect is continuing in the present moment. Look at the following examples carefully. In the first example, I have known Kyra for three years. The main verb known is used with the helping verb have to form the present perfect tense. In the second example, she has worked here for a long time. The main verb work is used with the helping verb has to form the present perfect tense. The verbs have known and has worked show that the actions began at some point in the past and are continuing in the present moment. The present perfect tense is also used to show a past event whose actual time is not known. Look at the following examples. In the first example, Tim has seen my work. The main verb seen is used with the helping verb has to form the present perfect tense. Similarly, in the second example, I have not read this book. The main verb read is used with the helping verb have and the word not to form the present perfect tense. In both the examples, the actual time when the actions took place is not known. The use of the present perfect tense may be commonly confused with the simple past tense. To avoid this confusion, keep in mind the following points. The simple past tense refers to an action which was completed in the past and is not connected with the present moment. However, the present perfect tense refers to an action which started or was completed in the past but is connected with the present moment. We may use words to denote time in the past such as yesterday, last week, etc. with the simple past tense. However, we do not use these words denoting time in the past with the present perfect tense. Instead, we may use words such as just, already, yet, etc. to indicate a short time ago. 
Let us now have a look at some examples to explain the incorrect use of the present perfect tense. I have had my medicine an hour ago. In this sentence, the verb have had refers to the present perfect tense whereas the expression an hour ago refers to a time in the past. Hence, this is an example of incorrect use of tense. The same sentence may be written in the present perfect tense as I have had my medicine. This sentence can be also written using the simple past tense as I had my medicine an hour ago. We have had an enjoyable picnic last week. Again is an example of incorrect use of the tense since the verb have had refers to the present perfect tense whereas the expression last week refers to a time in the past. The same sentence may be written in the present perfect tense as We have had an enjoyable picnic. It can be written using the simple past tense as We had an enjoyable picnic last week. The third example He has had his house painted last month shows an incorrect use of the tense because the verb has had refers to the present perfect tense whereas the expression last month refers to a time in the past. The same sentence may be written in the present perfect tense as he has had his house painted. It can be written using the simple past tense as he had his house painted last month. I finished my assignment, Mummy. That was fast. All right, Fleck, you may go play now. But be back in an hour. I'm baking some chocolate chip cookies for you. Wow! Chocolate chip cookies! I'll surely be back in an hour. <laughs> I'm so glad I finished my homework in time. Before I have some delicious chocolate chip cookies, let's revise all that we have learned in the lesson Verbs Present Perfect Tense. The tense of a verb tells us the time of an action or when an action has taken place. There are three main tenses, the present, the past and the future. The tense of a verb not only shows the time of an action but also expresses the state of the action, that is, it indicates whether the action is complete or incomplete. The present perfect tense of a verb is formed with the helping verb has or have and the past participle form of the verb. The present perfect tense is used to show an action that has just been completed a short while ago. An action which began at some point in the past but its effect is continuing in the present moment. A past event whose actual time is not known. Remember the main differences between the simple past tense and the present perfect tense. The simple past tense refers to an action which was completed in the past and is not connected with the present moment, whereas the present perfect tense refers to an action which started 
or was completed in the past but is connected with the present moment. We may use words to denote time in the past such as yesterday, last week, etc. with the simple past tense. However, we do not use these words to denote time in the past with the present perfect tense. Instead, we may use words such as just, already, yet, etc. to indicate a short time ago. Bye!